Hi there, Scorpio. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 28th of December. I do hope you had a lovely Christmas. And as you make your way into the final few days of 2015, there's a great surprise for you in so far as Venus moves into an area which could trigger an improvement around your financial situation. With Saturn, the planet of structure and restriction in this same area, and it has been for eight months, eight of the last 12 months, and it's going to be for near to two years to come. I do feel that this is a pleasant uh, development because very often when Venus moves into the second solar house, we can see almost instant improvements in our cash flow. And I hope that happens for you. But it also gives you a little bit more anticipation for New Year's Eve in terms of enjoying the good things. Because if you have been stinting and being a little bit more disciplined about what you've been eating and drinking, the chances are you're going to let your hair down a little more and enjoy all the festive goodies as you see in the new year. But this is a week when your co-ruler and your uh, traditional ruler of Mars is clashing with Mercury right through the week. And that suggests some stuff can come bubbling to the surface that you might not be keen to look at. This energy can come from outside of you, so someone could tell you something that you find rather uncomfortable. It could be about them, but it could be about someone that you're very close to, a sibling, a close friend. Or on the other hand, maybe your own consciousness is pushing things up into the open and you're going to be more outspoken about things that can startle someone else. This particular aspect can also create a certain amount of tension. And if you are going to be at a gathering where you're a bit reluctant to go, you're not quite sure of, of whether you're in the mood for it or not, there could be part of you that would rather stick closer to home and just be with people that you're really comfortable with. Well, if that's your choice, then why not? Because if we look at the backdrop on New Year's Eve that's going to be provided for you for the whole of 2016, your solar return sees a fine angle, ironically, between Saturn and the Sun. And this suggests that if you use your mind and your intellectual and cerebral qualities in a very practical way throughout 2016, it could be a time when you really start to do better with your financial situation. But this may push you to retrain, to learn new skills, to become much more conscious of the way that society is moving in terms of automation and digitalization and if there is a weakness in your skill set there those are the areas that you could well look towards improving now as you enter 2016 mercury enters the last few days of its degree on this particular uh, part of its cycle in the sign of capricorn but it is going to be coming back by the 9th of january but on the second it's moving into Aquarius, which is a very homey area, and you may find yourself thinking very carefully about some deeper uh, issues, perhaps reflecting on some of the events that occurred over the holiday period. You may find yourself also just wanting to stand back a little bit, and you might not be joining in quite as much as you might have thought of, and just give yourself permission to do this. We all need time to breathe, and just to assess where we are from time to time, and this could be one of those periods for you. I'd like to wish you a very happy new year. Good luck, and thank you for joining me.